and we're back at it with another part. So, sum up for people from uh, last time. Uh, the AB won. The Democrats won over here. And the AI is somewhat incompetent. Nothing new. I think Polska needs help. Ooh, yeah. Tag ARL. And again, we're doing all this, everyone at home who might be a little annoyed or upset for whatever reason. We're doing this to make it a little bit different. Change up the uh, dynamics. T to bug. There we go, beautiful. So we're not... Actually, fuck, I just realized. Um... It's gonna make reuniting with these guys a little more complicated. I think they'll just declare war on them. Eh, I mean, the Poles have had it hard enough. Let, let, let's help them out, Kipsu. That's all I'm saying. Despite setbacks in our transition to democracy, we have every hope that we'll soon become a fair and equitable society. Our new political parties have formed and become begun campaigning discussions about economic and political theory are happening among even ordinary citizens. And people are just starting out faith in a system that just a year ago they couldn't even participate in. The Russian people are on the path to true freedom and democracy, and as long as we continue working together, there's nothing we won't be capable of. That's oh, beautiful. Right there. A nice new little democratic coalition. I will tell you no to work. I think they're expanding the trees. I think originally they were going to put in a new start date. That was the whole talk of the canon originally, where um, the Yardies win, Borman wins, uh, the Revolutionary Front wins, and unifies Russia. All the kind of realistic sure but kind of boring stuff that you heard was canon that was supposed to be for tino 2 and for that start date i don't know if they're still doing the start date but i heard that the canon is dead i think the start date would be a choose who wins that would be interesting if they could pull that off that sounds complicated as hell though so i'm wondering how they'll be able to do that a typical former luncheon with the president was usually a full arrangement of his closest friends and advisors, all discussing current events or, discuss or discussing topics ranging from books to hunting. However, not every today was not a f typical former luncheon. The room was almost entirely empty, if not for two people within it, both discussing a small problem. Namely, Yevgeny Primakov's old ties to the All-Russian Black League, Evgeny Pitov Romanov, the man's former mentor, before the two had cut the ties, became a leading member of Dmitry Azov's administration. Even with the Black League now dead and gone, the potential scandals do not end with Azov or Pitov Romanov's death. Exactly how many people do you think know? Boris asked, as he eyed Yevgeny with a stern expression. We can't afford anyone to capitalize this, even if you had cut ties. Do not worry, it will be covered up. I certainly hope so. Otherwise, you know, I will be on the streets at best. At worst, he didn't need to finish the sentence. Neither two did. Okay. Expanding Yaki would be cursed. Yeah. Look at what they've done so far in the mod. Yeah. We'll wait and see. Um, I'll ask you guys, what should we work... I think we'll work towards... I, I want... We'll work towards down to this. First, so we can get the bonus towards professionalism. Get that kick started. And then from there, yeah, third ar the third army, one of the most well-organized and equipped armies still standing in Russia, has proven its worth once again, and more victorious from the devastating wars that wrecked West Siberia. That being said, the fighting exposed some serious flaws in our strategic and tactical doctrines that may prove disastrous if our future enemies learn how to exploit them. Now that a peace has been restored to this region, a comprehensive re-examination and modernization of our army's combat capability shall begin. It's true that we already possess a formidable force, but to allow our rivals to catch up would be 
E2 invite disaster. Once the military's strengths have been owned to Razor's Edge, the Third Army will march on as the grandest armed force in all of Russia, and victory will be practically guaranteed. Here's my question, are we still gonna call the Third Army? Because it's the army for our nation. Maybe start doing some mural fuckery so developers don't get down there, right? Now is the point where we can start doing that. So, fingers crossed we can do that. Increase investment in the Euro League in Orenburg. We'll increase more investment in the Euro League. Look at max investment in the Euro League, actually. What if MatPat did a video on TNL? He'd probably split it up in two parts for no fucking reason. Probably never upload the second part. I'm still waiting for part two of a fucking indoctrination theory video, MatPat. What the fuck? Where's part two? Where the fuck is part two? Probably be behind the scenes. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't watch MatPat anymore. It's been a... That's a name that I haven't thought about in a while. MatPat. Is he... St <laughs> Let's go Ray GT Live. Are they live? That would be funny. My big fear is that the AB definitely seems like the government. That w Oh, they're actually... They actually are influencing. Which is interesting. Because the AB definitely seems like the type who would go ahead. I watched Matt back when I was young, young, and I was I did too, and I haven't watched him since. They're outlining the casts. Okay, so this is. So they start with this, and then we we figure out whether they're going down. The Nazi larper path or. Whatever the fuck you call Hyperborea. The AB would be, uh... It would be an interesting game. I don't know how much I could uh, get away with it. But it might be interesting to give a shot. Uh oh, they might be invading them now. Slavic LARPer? Ancient Slavic LARPer, perhaps. And I think, yeah, this seems to be the same event as the Batov series, so you can pause at home if you want to read it. And if not, don't worry about it. Our task has only begun. Let me check some of these messages real quick. The only majors who can go Bergsus. Let me think who can go Bergsus. The whole definition of Bergsus requires some sort of SS connection. So, there's Comey and, um, Tabaritsky. We have Hydric over here. Burgundy starts Bergsist anyway. Um, I guess the various little puppets over here that are German-connected. These guys start Bergsist, but they flip more often than not, as you can see here. Yeah, I think they're the only big guys who can go Bergsist. So, yeah. I I think they are they're the only nations I think in general. I might be blanking on some off the top of my head. Oh, the Reich shot. Right, yeah. It's weird that I forgot the Reich shot cuz they're kind of right there.
Let's get an end to it. Tactics. In the past, the army has relied on tactics that will not have looked out of place on the battlefields of the Second World War almost sec 20 years ago. These ways have proven adequate so far, as was demonstrated in the conflict at Saw West Severe, united in our government, but the years are marching onwards, and times are changing faster than one would think. Countless new weapons and methods of waging war have become commonplace over the decades. We have spent resting on our laurels. If we do not act soon, our armies will be left in dust, rendered nothing more than vintage relics. The time has come to set aside the tactics of yesterday and embrace those of tomorrow. There we go. Let's get some basic artillery going, and then from here, what do we want? Better artillery. Yeah, I forgot about the Reichstadt for a second. Which, um... It's hard to see how I forgot about it, seeing how it's a continent-sized concentration camp. It's not nice stuff at all. Okay, we can go ahead, expand some of this stuff, state welfare programs, advanced development uh, subsidies, institute poverty relief programs. Have they? Let's keep an eye, because they've secured the south. It looks like they're doing well. I'm not, I wouldn't be too worried. I think they're doing okay. I will keep an eye out, of course, but I think they'll be fine. For the academic base. The end of day tactics. Now let's go ahead and get centralized. Command. Our, our military is blessed with the finest officer corps Russia has to offer, but our current command structure. Their talents are needlessly restrained. To better utilize their great abilities, our command has proposed a broad centralization of command chain to cut down on needless red tape and allow for orders to be carried out with less hassle. With increased control over their forces, our generals can effectively guide the military's gradual transition to a highly professional fighting force worthy of carrying out the eventual reunification of Russia. That would work. Let's do it. Brittany can go Bergsis, but yeah. Yeah, Brittany can go Bergsis, but that's a trap path, and Burgundy just ends up eating them. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give a statement. I want you guys, I want to hear if you guys agree with me or not. Burgundy is too big. Burgundy should not be this big. At its height. At its start, it should take over, I think, all Belgium, this state, up to this river, and take that. And then, with the expansion, it could take some of this, I think, because there's no reason to divide Paris at this point. I think the idea of splitting Paris into two is a lot better if France still owns this. And then you can still have Brittany pop up here and take all this. Very much agreed. Okay, I'm not the only one. Glad to know. Because of the restrictions on France that they're... Yeah, I, I, I get why they become so big. I would explain right now. But I don't think they should be this big. Because it doesn't make very much sense that they could get this done and established. I think Fran... I, they should have, we'll put it, say, like, up to this at their starting borders. And then they can expand and move up to this. Because right now, I think it's too big, and I mean, Burgundy already is kind of unrealistic, but that's part of the charm of this mod. Same with Atlantropa. I don't want them to get rid of Atlantropa. I don't want them to get rid of Burgundy. But I feel like it just kind of screws France a little too much, potentially. Himmler will die and it will collapse in Tino too, yeah. I know eventually there's going to be a chance for that, but I, I, I know that how it's shaped up right now, I think it's too big. That's what she said. And that's what I said. So we've got the armor professionalism going. Let's rebuild the Republic. Our West Siberian Republic is in poor shape. Recent battle 
battles and wars we've had on our paths to unification have destroyed much of our infrastructure and industry, the conquered regions being in the worst shape. The state of affairs, of course, hasn't been helped by the preceding decade of warlordism and Luftwaffe bombings. It's high time we begin focusing our political and economic efforts on rebuilding the nation and raising the standards of living nationwide. The infrastructure and industry is there, it's just a matter of replacing and repairing and renovating it. He might be even coded right now, even in the 80s? Really? I'm not sure. That could very well be the case. Yep, I knew that. I kind of knew that was going to happen. Well. Let's match them. Invade as well. Hopefully we can move in and take Biloretsk. Let's swoop down. Try to get an encirclement off there. No, you, you, you have the right idea. Would you like for your girls, they might be more inclined to join you. I think there was either declaring on the AB or, um, what is it? I'm trying to think. Do nothing or declare war on the AB. Um, there is that, but... Marineification was severe, was costly. Factories, roads, and railroads were all heavy damage, which destroyed the fighting. With our enemies dealt with and the internal issues handled, we can finally make preparations to rebuild. The damage was not sparing, with cities being destroyed and people starving, our economies in shambles, barely functioning, and unemployment abound. Schools also lay abandoned. In, in, with no funding for education, bartering is rampant, with no real money circulating through the country. To begin, prepare for rebuilding of a district. Borders deals in the order for new reconstruction jobs to begin all over us, Siberia. Rebuilding the core of our cities will help let us increase our reconstruction efforts even more. Hopefully by the end, West Siberia will look radically different and be closer to recovery. Hopefully. Paradox Interactive Gameplay. We'll have you guys stay for a second. Take Sabe. Try to secure as many VP points over victory points here as possible. Circle this guy. Oh shit. Right. Taking inventory. There are hundreds, not thousands, of pieces of equipment and weapons left over from the former world or states that we conquered. While well, most of it's shelly made, outdated, and in poor condition, most still works. Much of these rifles and other equipment is simply floating around out there unchecked and free to be used by any insurgents who want to use them. We should endeavor to locate, catalog, and store all the left of equipment we can find and add it to our own stockpile, both for safekeeping and emergencies. The situation may never call for these weapons to be used, but it's always better to have not need than to need and not have. At this point, just delete that. We need all these guys over here. <clears throat> this is going to be a cluster duck already, I can tell you that much. We'll let the AB grind out some, their troops a little bit for now. Hmm. 
Hmm. There we go, taking stock. That was finished quickly. Quartermaster walked through the warehouse, going through all the confiscated equipment, captured by the soldiers. Uh, same event as last time, I believe. More guns, the better. Else, you want to read the rest? I think some of these are different, I want to say. I'm not quite sure, though. Let's go ahead and allow some strikes. The ability to strike is a fundamental right to demo fundamental democracy and workers' rights. When given the chance, the corporation will inevitably abuse workers' rights. Allowing our citizens to be able to strike will give them the ability to negotiate collectively for better wages and working conditions. Not only does it benefit the workers, but the economy as a whole as well. The more wealth goes back to the citizenry, the more money will be spent by the citizenry on goods and products. Arguably, the ability to strike is also a right, as it falls under freedom of expression. In any case, we must remove loosening... We must begin loosening restrictions on strikers and even remove them entirely, if possible. And that would work. Uh, you guys should not be on this border at all. There's only one border you should be on. It's this one. Let's hope we can take it first. Shit. Take it, take it, take it. Mm. I think that's a... Yep. That's all, folks. Three out of four former warlord states under our control. And that's just how that cookie crumbles. Polska's just fiving. God damn, I need to help him out again. Actually, how many VPs do they have anymore? They're about... Ectobi's about to capitulate, actually. I think we're good. What if a live-action Cats movie gets created in the TNR? That's such an oddly specific question. Now I'm curious. Does it? Hmm. Let's get some cast going. Allow strikes. There we go. How's all of this development coming along? Agriculture, poverty... It's all going. Hmm. Damn it, I'm out of water. That's not nice. Let's go ahead and get a more efficient social safety net going, then. As the situation in economy in Russia has stabilized, our government has found itself with more resources to spare. Plenty of proposals have got, been made about what, where such resources should go, but recently convincing arguments have been made in favor of improving our social safety net for the elderly and unemployed. And after all, should we not respect our elders, those who fought in the Second World War and West Russian War, those who sacrificed so much for their homeland? Furthermore, the unemployment and destitute. Unemployment and destitute. We've all experienced what extreme poverty has felt like. The past two decades, if nothing else, should give us m some sort of empathy for those who have lost everything. We must provide for our people. That's very nice. Working on the soil. Hmm. We'll see who ends up winning over there. The play is older than the Divergence, I think. Maybe. Hmm. Let's get this guy a general. Let's go with Guzma Galitsky. That'll be good. We can get working on... Let's go, boys! Nova Polska's won! Woo! The Poles have passed by Kazakhstan. Granted, we, you know, we cheat a little bit to get to that. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Uh, 
Uh oh, the Kazakhstan machine is broken. That's not very nice. No, it's supposed to be Novopolska and then Aktobi as a little middle state and a buffer. Is that what's supposed to happen? Oh well, I didn't know that then. That they start at war? I know this was supposed to split off, but. No, IRL me. Honor, Bachelor, also one more. Thatcher, imagine what history means in Tino timeline would be like. Man! I'm wondering too. How's our construction come along? Pretty nicely, actually. Do we have the administrative strain gone from our state? I think we do. So let's get working on increased reconstruction efforts. Reconstruction of our territories is taking longer than expected. The fighting of recent wars combined with the already critical lack of infrastructure into U and through rural areas has made the process infinitely more slow. Over half our expenditure so far has been exclusive towards repairing roads and other infrastructure. We made little progress actually addressing the people's needs as a result of this. Our re reconstruction efforts must be redoubled with increased funding and manpower if we are to make a difference. Certainly makes sense to me. Omsk has a nice fair bit few extra extra factories. We'll expand a bit there, a little extra in Kurgan. Work on the economy ever so as much more as we can. Formation of a Social Turn, the Return of the Reds. What would the history memes be like? One language, two races. It depends on how much info gets out of Russia. Think if Steve Smith survives, there's going to be a lot of crazy shit that will be known about the state of Russia. And there's a boon mod. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I have it downloaded somewhere. I just, streaming's been iffy because my internet's been crap, but I think I've, we figured out the issue. So, it's more of a possibility that we can do it. Um, just got to figure out when is the best time. Let's go towards the market economy. For decades, the Russian economy has been oriented toward, almost entirely towards warfare and the production of the weapons of war. Factories put out, not toasters, but rifles, artillery, tanks, planes, and every kind of explosive under the sun. However, as our state rapidly approaches full unification of Russian states, we can begin our shift to shift our focus towards a more normal market economy. Economy where people build devices increase quality of life rather than the destructive potential. Economy where people's growth puts more money in people's pockets rather than rifles in soldiers' hands. Economy for people at peace rather than one constantly at war. Let's go ahead and integrate Uskatav. That'll be a good one to start with. Yeah, that might be a solid stream. The Boond mod. I mean, how many memes can you make out of the Aryan Brotherhood? Obviously. Do you know being kind of eh, nice to be Sphere Reich or something like or Kaiser Redux? You see the fuckery from that. But mean to get into Fuhrer Reich, Kaiser Reich would be g nice to get back into too. Oh god, this looks fucking horrible. Jesus. Um. Hmm. Maybe Zope would get memed, like, kind of like post-sadism, because, heh <laughs> funny nuke. 
Guys reduces all the meme paths and the expanded paths. Yeah, I remember that. Um, I was always fine with Kazurak, though. I only took a break mainly because TNO came out. And I only have a bunch of cool stuff now with um, the Ottomans. They have a cool new tree now. And they got a cool couple of reworks coming out. I want to give a shot eventually. Let's do the sh let's start reaching out actually. Yeah, Kaiser Rex of Kaiser Kaiser Redux a funky mod. Yeah, with Disney as president. It, it, it's a fun mod. I don't know, I'm, I've always been more I don't know. Maybe Kaiser Redux one of these days. I'll wait and see. For now though. Let's reach out of the world. With Western Siberia firmly under our control, we can begin to participate in international politics once again more. Our task will be to establish contact with the outside world. During the warlord period, Sverdlovsk was hard-pressed to get information to and from Arkhangelsk, let alone to far-off nations like the United States. With the region quickly under our control, however, re-establishing contact should be in trouble at all. Should we be successful, our priorities as a nation will be to gain recognition on the world stage, perhaps even be recognized with a legitimate successor Russia, state to Russia and North Soviet Union. Additionally, we should endeavor to begin trade negotiations with the larger powers such as the U.S. and Japan, as well as our neighbors. Charles Redux and Tino are both unrealistic, but differences Tino takes out seriously. Yeah. Well, Tino is also just more of a story game in general. I don't, if I'm not mistaken, Kaiser Redux doesn't focus too much on the narrative as much as Kaiser as much as Tino does. And I've always been more of a story guy, to be honest. That's part of the reason why I stick with uh, TNO a fair bit, because there's a lot of fun stories here. That said, though, I'm not gonna lie, something new would be nice right about now. We'll get another unit you know, of these guys going. For our unification of West Siberia, many foreign powers have become interested in our new nation. A place was needed to conduct relations with foreign powers in Batov. Now this was safe. This is the same event. They don't even change it for Yeltsin. Yeah, but well, it's about time we made friends. Kaiser Redux completely sticks to Siberia. Kaiser Redux's mod comp with all the meme paths. Yeah. Right, stern, but ah, good stuff. This would be good. Get the evil. We'll con get contacts with front skills, Scandinavia. Same thing we started off with foreign policy treaty. Let's uh, reach out to Rome. The Italians are in control of one of the largest single markets on earth. Their empire, stretching from bountiful Italy to oil rich Arabia to the Suez in Egypt, has some of the greatest market potential on earth, not to mention the massive consumer base they control. It would be foolish to not at least attempt to get a front foot in the door. We will send a delegation to Rome to establish diplomatic relations, and then attempt to get begin negotiating trade. Should all go well, we'll have a new trading partner, and access to Italian financial institutions. Ah, Sternberg, that was a fun time. Let's get coring the rest of those guys. Industrial equipment's about to go up. Agriculture is not too far off. Oh, Norton? Emperor Norton? That guy? The one mod that I have been looking forward to that looks is that um, Make America Again mod. That one looks really interesting. I mean, you have the Confederate States of America, led by Kanye West. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. That I, I'm fairly certain that's not supposed to happen. 
I mean, Kanye West leads the Confederacy and forced a union between Black Lives Matter and the Ku Klux Klan to work together. That shit sounds ridiculous, and I love it. Better industrial equipment, let's do it. Plus, you know, as a proud Connie voter, I have to rep the boy. Shout out Yeezy. Yeezy 2024. Did Lemonade do Kanye? Or I think I saw him play the mod, but I don't think he did Con Did he do the Kanye path? I'm not quite sure. Let's kill sail Scandinavia. Scandinavia is a region intrinsically linked with Russia. Not only have we shared a border with each region for centuries, but our impact on each other's politics and culture has been immense. Today, although Russia lies in ruins, Scandinavia has sailed on through the 40s and 50s, mostly intact, barring Norway's conquest. Both Finland and Sweden managed to break into both the American and German markets and have benefited greatly. If we can establish trade in relation with Scandinavia, we too might be able to reap the rewards of their unique situation. There we go. He did Bush in Texas, right, yeah. I remember that. I remember he played W. And that was fun. I think they're dropping a demo uh, for people to try out. I think it's West Coast, which, you know, nice to represent. Italy's accepted us, wonderful. Italian oil expertise on our side. West Coast. Alex Jones is a leaguer and fucking Tim Pool. Yeah, I saw all of that. This shit looks insane and hilarious, and I love it. See how Scandinavia. Yeah, Juche Tucker. Juche Tucker Carlson. I forgot about that, too. Oh, my God. Uh. That mod seems crazy. And I am 100% for it. Let's get, uh... Let's show them our worth. Our nation may be small, but we have a lot to offer. Nations willing to trade with us. While our industrial capacity is limited, our capital reserves are small. We happen to have one of the greatest abundances of cheap natural resources on the continent, primarily oil extract in the far north of Siberia. We should work to get these raw resources into the foreign markets at cheap prices, encouraging their purchase and driving further investment into Russia. If we're successful in managing to find and purchase as abroad from our nat natural wealth, we may even be able to parlay our most basic trade relationships into a more comprehensive economic agreement. Free dockyards, which is wonderful. Let's get some convoys going. It's neat how you can actually get some dockyards going up here. What are they going with? Long is... Are they going Hyperborea? Let's go ahead and get anti-air. Equipment. Um, let's invest a little bit in construction, too. Why not? That'll pay off in the long term. Death of Puyi. Let's get one big front line with all of our armies, actually. I've seen a few out of context tips of Tucker, and a lot of his rhetoric sounds left wing. I don't want to get too political. Just because nowadays it's it fucking sucks to get political. We got some liquid reserves. Barely fucking any, but we got some. Let's add to our GDP. But Tucker's an interesting one. 
Agriculture. We'll do agriculture after the next check, I think. Let's get Gazprom. Siberia is among the most resource-rich regions of Earth. Not only are there abundant veins of valuable ores and minerals, but the area is also a home to some of the deepest reservoirs of oil on the planet. The only thing stopping us from accessing those minerals and resources in years past was capital. However, or now, with a rapidly recovering econ economy, our state has found itself with more financial resources with which to invest. Given our nation's growing appetite for energy in the form of oil, it only makes sense that we exploit rich Siberian lands that we have at our disposal. Hence our new state energy corporation, the Gazprom Energy Company. Yeah, Tucker's a weird one. Perfect few. Better agricultural methods. Beautiful. I don't even know if I necessarily dislike him too much, but he certainly has a lot of weird quirks to him. Granted, fucking anyone whose ego is big enough to put themselves on national television, they're probably all full of shit and sociopathic to some degree. So it's not fair to just pick on him, but he's an interesting one. They all are interesting, in fairness, but he's interesting. So let's go ahead and get, uh, where was that? The civilian industry, there we go. Civilian industry is vital to the strength of our nation. An economy focused entirely on military production cannot function. Civilian industry provides for all the quality of life needs our people might have. Beep, shovels, toasters, plows, light bulbs. Most importantly for the government, civilian industry helps grow the grow economy and provides materials with which to grow, build more factories such as steel, concrete, and glass. If we already build Russia, we will need to invest in the civilian industry so we can produce said materials to do so. Oh yeah, I don't like talking about American politics much anymore. I, I still pay attention, I just don't like talking about it. That That's my thing. Just because it, uh, it, it's fucking miserable to talk about right now. It, it's weird. Politics is weird right now. That might be the understatement of a century, but, but fear in their hearts... So they're going 50-50. Okay. I mean, I used to have a uh, politics chat on my Discord server. And, you know, I look at the messages because I want to see what my community is up to. And the more I look, the more just depressed I got. I like to discuss it, but I don't like openly talking. But, uh, yeah. That's fair. Like, I, like, unlike politics Discord, you see the worst come out of people on online, with online political discussions, don't ya? That's what I've noticed. Was industrial equipment has improved? Yeah, equipment has gone up. We'll go defense industry then. Civilian industry is, of course, important. Civilian industry is important for peacetime economy and will be necessary for rebuilding Russia. That said, there won't be a nation to rebuild if you can't arm your army. Russia still faces various threats on all sides, and an investment in our defense industry would ensure that our military remains powerful enough to combat these threats. With nations such as Germany and Japan at our border, not only do we need the best equipment, we also need as much bad equipment as possible. There we go. Yeah, um... I also found myself getting too upset about stuff that I don't have an impact really in and so I just found it's better because I, I feel better now that I, I've disconnected mostly from politics I don't oh, that's funny um, I feel better generally speaking there's yeah, let's get working on it. all these factories over here god damn I feel better not talking about it just because I feel less aggressive, I'm less... Eh, the, these people are ruining the country, or no, th that party, no, this party's doing the best. I don't really like that. 
part of the reason why I don't have Twitter is just because anything political on there is just a dumpster fire. And people don't know what they're talking about, but they act like they do. Like, I don't always know what I'm talking about. I'm a... I'm ha One of my majors is poli size, so I, I know a little bit, but not that much. Uh, let's invest in machinery. Since the collapse, fallen go less much more. Ability to research newer and more efficient manufacturing machinery and technology than non-existent. However, with reunification of Russia complete, we can finally begin touching on modernizing the nation's industrial technology. Such things as basic integration of computers, more reliable and tactile machinery using large-scale production plants, and the implementation of isostatic processing vessels should help increase our productive capacity. Plus, you know, I've always been... I don't know how best to put it. I've been, I've always been moderate in temperament. I want to major in history or poli sci. I'm doing both. It's fun. I'm taking a bit of a break. I'm taking a sort of a gap semester. But, uh, modernists, yeah, modernists. Taking sort of a gap semester. I'm still gonna take a few classes so I can keep my job, but it's mostly a gap semester. Uh, it's fun stuff. Yeah, I've always been more modern, moderate in temperament and how I like to approach politics. And uh, if if you approach that with Twitter or really anywhere, uh, you 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 get steamrolled pretty e easily. And I, I have better things to do than to argue with people online. Somebody got a hello. Hmm. Well, that's the end of this part.